Hello and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. I'm your host Jeremy and today we are going to take a look at NEMS Linux. N-E-M-S, NEMS Linux. And the idea behind this is that it is a pre-built Linux distribution with Nagios installed and partially configured and it makes it really easy to get this up and running. It runs on the Raspberry Pi. It is available for other single board computers. And so let's transition over and take a look at their website. As you can see here, and I'll make this a little bit larger for you. NEMS is the Nagios Enterprise Monitoring System for single board computers. Free enterprise monitoring, offsite backup, should give you some peace of mind if, if you're one of those people that doesn't trust the Raspberry Pi for production type applications. Uh, Raspberry Pis are cheap enough that you can always have a spare ready to roll and restore from a backup. And they're actually pretty resilient if you, especially if you uh, go the extra step and put them on a UPS. Starts with Nagios Core. Uh, monitoring of network services, SMTP, POP3, HTTP, NNTP, ping, etc. Uh, host resources, uh, simple plugins that allow users to easily develop their own service checks. Lots of good stuff here. It's on the Nagios Exchange. NEMS Linux is on the Nagios Exchange, which is the officially endorsed Nagios Enterprise Community Web Index. And there's a screenshot here. And yeah, that's that's the uh, background information. I am going to go ahead and get a uh, SD card built for this and when we come back we will log in and do some configuration work and start uh, uh, seeing what it's able to do all right we are back and we are ready to move on to our next step in setting up nems linux we're going to turn now to the angry ip scanner and we're going to scan our network and find out our IP address for the Raspberry Pi. This will just take a couple moments. And right here is our Raspberry Pi. So, and the host name is nems.local. We're going to open up our terminal. I'll blow this up size a little bit so everybody can see it. And we're going to SSH nems admin at 172.16.74.141. Yes. And nems admin is also the password for the initial stage. As you can see, I have had this up and running for a little while. I have not done any configuration work. We've got one user logged in, which is my remote user on the SSH session. And so now we're going to see what we need to do next in the configuration. So we've got it installed. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type sudo space nems dash init. Enter password and set a new username. And 
and password. And it's going to initialize the new username and password. It's initializing a new Nagios user and going through some additional setup. And we are in America and not Toronto. Detroit. Generating SSL certificates. Resizing the root partition. And it's going to reboot. And this should just take a few moments for it to boot back up. And it should almost be there now. And we should actually be ready to bring this up in our web page. And we have NEMS Linux version 1.41 running on a Raspberry Pi. 25 gigabytes of free disk space. And the first thing we need to do is go to the NEMS system setting tool. And it's a self-signed certificate, so we do need to add an exception. Confirm. And enter the username and password that we created. All right. So there are several things that we can do here. Uh, personal encryption, decryption password. Let's go ahead and set this up. The Raspberry Pi monitor is on, Nagios API is on, Webmin Monitor X cockpit. Allow TV dashboard without password. It's all set up. We're not going to do the email quite yet. Okay. And once we're through with that, we can go to the NEMS NCOMP. This version of NCOMP contains heavy customizations for NEMS on modern architecture. This version, uh, this version of the release is not directly supported by the original authors. Start adding host and service configuration via NEMS COMP. NCOMP. Okay, so we are going to do add hosts. Okay. Monitored by host collector and 
Edmonds. Parent host Nims. We'll submit that. We're going to generate Nagios config and deploy it. Very interesting here. I think this is going to be a fun project. So, if we come back to the main NEMS, Adagios is our recommended. Network parents one, host two. NEMS and router host up server service status we are going to add some more hosts and this one is 172.16.70 oops uh, brn 001 ba 99 f 7 Five four D This is a Linux generic printer monitored by default Nagios. And again, we move admins over here. Nems. And we will submit that. I'm going to generate the Nagios config. Not possible due to errors in configuration. Show hosts. Host template. Generic printer. that out submit generate Nagios config deploy come back to Nagios we can reload that State history log. I'm really digging this. Kudos to Robbie Ferguson at Category 5 TV. This is really slick. I'm really curious. Host up. Three of three down zero of three. I'm digging this. Okay, well we've got a few hosts added. This is the TV dashboard view of things. Let's see if it updates here. Nothing down. We've got the Adagios front end. Can also do cockpit. Which is nicely skinned.
this is pretty slick. Pretty slick. So. Terminal. Return dashboard. Raspbian GNU Linux 9 stretch. You can have multiple devices set up in cockpit and manage it all for one spot. We've got Raspberry Pi Monitor, Webmin, Monit, again, self-signed certificate, shows you some local services that are running. Slick there. All right, and that is going to do it for our first run through NEMS Linux. I will be doing a follow up. I will have configured some more of the things in here, added some more hosts, and have let it run for a few days and give you some more thoughts and who knows maybe we'll provide Robbie Ferguson with some feedback for the practical IT channel this is Jeremy signing out if you like the video please give us a thumbs up click subscribe click the bell icon for notifications leave comments down below share the video with your friends shout it from the rooftop tell everybody I'll take all the help I can get to build this channel up. I'm trying to hit 250 subscribers by the end of the year, 2018. We're well on our way. We're at 193 right now, but I can use every little bit of help I can get. Until next time, thank you for watching. Have a great day.